Welcome to today's Weather School for Kids. We have a fun topic today, but it's not totally about weather, but it is related. Our topic today is Earth Day. That's right. Earth Day happens every year on April the 22nd. And for 2020, this is the 50th year that we have had Earth Day. And it's a pretty special time of the year. Now, this actually started back in 1970. That was the first Earth Day. And the reason it began is really a way to raise awareness of our Earth and environmental issues and just generally taking care of this awesome planet where we live. So it's been going on now for 50 years. Let's learn a little bit more about our Earth because it is a pretty fantastic place. What are some of the things that you notice? We've got blue, that's all the water on the earth. The greens and the browns, well, of course, that's the land. We live over here where it's much, much greener and you can see some of the drier areas off to the west. And all of the white that you see here, well, of course, that's the clouds that we see, some of the moisture that is being stored. So yes, even though the topic is Earth Day, it certainly has a lot to do with weather because all of our weather happens right here in the atmosphere that is around our Earth. And we'll talk more about that in just a moment. But our Earth is not the only planet out there. It's actually a part of the solar system made up of eight planets. Let's take a look at them. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus or Uranus, Neptune, and also Pluto. How close is our planet to the Earth? Well, let's count one, two, three. And some people affectionately say it's the third rock from the sun because that's what all these planets have in common is they rotate around the sun. But what makes our planet, our Earth, so very, very special? Well, several things. First off, it is the only planet in the solar system that can support life. Why is that? Well, it has water and it has oxygen. And it's also because it's just far enough away from the sun, but not too far, that it's not too cold and it's not too hot. So it's the perfect place for us to live. Here's something else that makes our planet unique. Let's pretend that our blue ball is the Earth and this bloop, bloop, is our big sun. So we're sitting out here away from the sun, but our planet is the only planet with an atmosphere. So the atmosphere is like a blanket of air wrapped around the Earth. That does several things. First off, it protects us from the sun. It also keeps objects that are floating around in space from harming us. And inside that atmosphere is all our weather. That's where it happens. Let's take a look outside and check out our Earth and see if you can see some other things that are special. One of the first things that I'm gonna notice on this day about our Earth is that it's a windy day. Can you see the flag blowing? Our Earth has lots of natural resources. We have plenty of green. Look at all the trees. Look at the grass. So beautiful. Those are all natural resources. And can you see off in the distance? That's a creek, another natural resource. Let's look over in this direction. And if we come right over here, we're going to notice someone taking advantage of our rich soil and the rain that we have here by planting a garden. All of these natural resources help sustain life right here on our planet Earth. Can you see the flowers on that bush? Let's think about what all of these things could do. First off, if you think about the grass, well, it provides food for livestock for cows and horses. Let's think about up under that tree. That's shelter for a little rabbit. And the birds, can you hear them? Those trees also provide a home for those birds. And trees are also a natural resource that you can make things out of them. This wood rail is made out of a tree. 
paper is made out of a tree. And something else that we have to remember that is a natural resource is the sun. Now there are clouds today when we're recording this, so we can't really see the sun, but that sun is a natural resource because it helps keep things warm. Do you know what? It can also provide us with energy. Let me show you something. Right up here on the roof of this house, there are solar panels. They trap the energy from the sun and help to make electricity that can power our house. Let me show you another natural resource that we mentioned just a second ago. Notice how the wind is not blowing as much right now. It was a few moments ago, but do you know that we can also use that wind to make energy to power things? By capturing it with a windmill. Another natural resource, pan that camera over and you can see the water. We can also use that water to generate power as well. Something you can't see though, from looking around, is the oil that is inside the earth and coal, like big black chunks of rock, that's also inside the earth in some places, those too can be used for energy. Like oil provides us with gasoline for our cars, but those are a little different. Those are what we call non-renewable sources of energy, whereas the sun and the wind are renewable. The trees are renewable because we can grow more and more of those, whereas we can't really make more oil or more coal in the ground. But just looking at all these natural resources reminds us how we have to take care of our earth. Come on back in here. I've got a great game for you that you can do with your family. This is a lot of fun. Do you like bingo? Well, let's take a look at this game. Well, you can see how special our earth is, so it's worth being celebrated every day. So that's why I like to think of it as every day is Earth Day. So here's that bingo game I was telling you about. You can make one yourself or you can download this one. I'll put it on my Facebook page. And look at all the different things that you can pay bingo doing. Listen for bird calls. We heard some of those just a second ago. You can spot an insect. Well, you can take a picture of a flower. You can identify a bird that you don't know. Or you can take a tree selfie. That would be pretty fun. So that's a fun game that you can do with your family. Play a little nature bingo. Because once again, every day is Earth Day. Let's talk about some other things that you can do. Have you ever heard the word sustainability? That's a big one, right? Well, sustainability means that you maintain something forever. So we want to maintain our earth forever for generations to come. So your children, your grandchildren, and on and on and on. How do we do that? Well, let's think about this. If we have a jar full of money and we just keep taking money out of that jar, at some point, the jar is going to be empty, right? But we always want to save. So we take some money out and we save some more money so that we always keep money in that jar. That's what sustainability is all about. We want to use some, but we also want to save some. So that's why it's so important that we take good care of our earth. So what can you do? Glad you asked. First off, you can be a waste warrior. What do I mean about being a waste warrior? Well, let's think about all the stuff that we throw away every day. Let's take, for example, the garbage truck mm -hmm. that comes and picks up the trash. If you took every garbage truck that we had, that we filled up for a whole year in the U.S., do you know you would line them up back to back to back? They would go halfway to the moon. That's a lot of garbage. How can you be a waste warrior? Well, what are the things that we throw away? One of them, plastic, plastic bags. Do you know how long it takes this plastic bag to decompose or go away? 10 to 20 years for just this one plastic bag. Compare that with a paper bag you know how long it takes the paper bag? One month. So which would be better, plastic 
or paper. If you chose paper, you're right. Some other things that may surprise you. A straw takes 200 years. Yes, a plastic straw takes 200 years to decompose or go away. Here's one that we use a lot, and that's a plastic bottle. A plastic bottle takes 450 years to decompose or go away. Do you want an old plastic bottle hanging out for 400 plus years? I don't think so. So these are some things that we need to think about when we are throwing away. So what can you do to eliminate some of that? Well, if you said recycle, you are right. We can put our plastic bottles in the recycling bin and recycle them. But there's another thing that we can do that is reuse. So maybe find another purpose for this bottle or fill it up with water and use it twice. That's a good thing you can do. Or you can reduce. And when I say reduce, can you think of some ways that you could reduce and maybe not use so many plastic bottles? Well, here's some ideas. How about this? Get yourself a water bottle and instead of using plastic bottles, just keep your water bottle filled up all the time. That way you don't have to use the plastic bottles and throw them away or recycle them. Something else, instead of storing the food that you get from the grocery store or your leftovers in a plastic bag like this one, maybe you could always put them in a plastic container that you could reuse or even better, a glass container. And speaking of going to the grocery store, when you go with your parents, instead of using plastic bags, or even instead of using paper bags, you could take a reusable bag like this one. And as a matter of fact, this is what I do every time I go to the grocery store. I get as many bags as I need out of my reusable bags and take them with me and just use them over and over again. But you can always come up with ways to repurpose things like a paper bag. You can make a puppet out of this. Have a little fun with your family. You could cut it and wrap a present in it. You could certainly use it for artwork and draw on it. So try to think of some creative ways that you can use these things all the time. The plastic bags, even when we occasionally get those, we keep them so that we can reuse them for other things and just pull them right out of the bottom. Those are some things that you can do to be a waste warrior. What are some other things that we can do to make Earth Day every day? Well, you can plant a tree. Remember I said trees are renewable? That's a renewable resource. Plant a tree in your backyard. Plant some flowers so that the bees can pollinate. Those are ways that we can celebrate Earth Day every day. Also, reduce the amount of power that you use. When you leave a room, be sure and turn off the light. Here's another thing you can do. Instead of letting the water run while you're brushing your teeth, turn it off, brush your teeth, then turn it back on. Do you know that doing that every day, you can save eight gallons of water? That's a lot of water. What else can you do to make every day Earth Day? You can offer your time. Of course, you want to get your parents' permission, but maybe you could pick up trash in your neighborhood, or you could do it together as a family. Always look for ways that you can make our Earth a better place to live. And another important thing that you can do is spread the word. You can make sure that you're a good example or you can suggest to your mom that, hey, can we use these reusable bags instead of plastic bags today? Just by your example and you doing things like picking up trash, like using a reusable water bottle, that's a way of spreading the word about being a good citizen of our really special Earth. I hope you've learned a little bit about our Earth and how you can make every day Earth Day. Something else you can do today is how about draw a picture of you making every day Earth Day. Be creative. I'd love to see some of your ideas, whether it's recycling something or just a sign of recycling, reducing or reusing, whatever you come up with. Send it to me at lspencer at wsmv.com. 
I'd love to see your questions, your comments. Let me know if there's a topic that you would like for me to cover. You can also email that to lspencer at wsmv.com. If you like our Weather School for Kids, I have many other videos, so learn with me. Just head over to my YouTube channel at Lisa Spencer and subscribe. Thanks so much, and remember, every day is Earth Day.